We've said spring guns are every bit as accurate as pre-charge guns, but they don't seem to do so well. And the reason for that is that you've got to know the right technique. The thing with a spring gun is that as you cock it, you're actually compressing a huge coil spring in here, and there's a huge piston in front of that, probably weighs more than a pound or so. And as you, as you pull the trigger, that flies forward at something like 200 miles an hour. So the rifle naturally goes in the opposite direction. So that's the first part of the recoil. But as the piston comes to a stop, it then pushes the rifle forwards. So unlike any other type of firearm, spring guns actually recoil backwards and forwards. So you'll notice my trigger hand is barely in contact with the gun at all. So I rest my thumb on the top of the stock here very, very light grip on the, the stock itself and then try not to steer the gun with this hand. If I need to make adjustments, I'm using my left hand here. The gun is resting gently on the bag and the bag allows the gun to slide backwards and forwards freely. There's very, very little grip on it. So that I'm barely, barely touching the gun. I'm just going to try and line it up. And I watch the pellet strike don't move, don't grip, don't change anything, and that's the way to get a consistent shot. See, that's a pretty good group. I mean, it's a gun I'm not used to. If I spend a bit more time with it, I'm sure I could do better, but that's three shots at 30 yards, pretty much touching. Look, I mean, that's a 5p coin. They'd all disappear under that pretty easily. Um, that's a seriously accurate gun, and the trick is to use the right technique to get the full benefit from what you've bought. Okay, so what we have here is a Walther LGV. It came out about a year ago and was a bit of a shock to the market, to be honest. It's not Walther's kind of bread and butter thing to do top quality brake barrel spring guns. The way the Germans like to do things, they like big, heavy guns, and there's no doubt this is a big, heavy gun. But what that does for you, in a spring gun especially, is it helps subdue the recoil a bit. Basically, the heavier they are, the less they want to move around, and the easier they are to shoot. Uh, I know a few people who live for their spring guns and absolutely adore these. They were genuinely, genuinely shocked. So, yeah, quite a clever thing. Built like a bank vault. It's clearly going to last forever. They're also incredibly easy to service. They showed us while we were there, literally in minutes, you can change the spring, change the, the main seal and that kind of thing. And I hear a rumour there may even be more spring guns coming from them in the future. So that's something to look out for. So my friend the farmer hates all these corvids on his land. Magpies, crows, rooks, and just by good luck, that one stood on top of this bank. And if you want to know if you can use them for hunting, I'll say the answer is yes.